to welcome speech our special guest and our speaker mr gautam mahajan the president of customer value foundation and an internationally renowned professional huh? this type of hello oru mani korana oru mukka mani kor hello has you continue okay this type of opportunities will get only once in a blue moon to hear a special person like gautam mahajan i welcome you sir with a great pleasure and uh, our president is uh, is participating uh, no. uh, rajesh sir ji hello no no, no he's he, not here no he, okay he, he, okay also extend my warm welcome to wing commander rajeshri nair uh, ever since my beginning of tma i understood that she is uh, rajeshri nair is a very resourceful lady and a dynamic lady in many activities also welcome mr seedu madhavan sir we know very well that you keep on influencing us for many years of all tma activities on the top of it all the soul of this chapter the coll colleges students and faculties welcome you each and every one for this webinar thank you have a great evening apart from the above i welcome our secretary sunil kumar ji and other all tma members and one more information i think it is you have got it that uh, your questions uh, will be answered uh, the speaker so uh, you chat in the chat box or whatever the he prefer according to that we can follow that is so it is live or in the chat box in the chat box you if you are asking the questions in the chat box only you ask the question the direct questions don't ask the confused question in the chat box it then will be difficult okay madam over to you uh thank you mr nahas good evening ladies and gentlemen it is really an honor as an individual and chairperson of student chapter of trivandrum management association to introduce mr gautam mahajan uh, my association with mr mahajan has been more than a decade now he was one of the very few who has clarity of thought and purpose personally he was the person who educated me what the term startup and sme mean for me coming from an armed forces background all these sounded greek and latin initially and i give all the credit to him for my entrepreneurial journey as the president of indo american chamber of commerce he brought in the indo us young executive forum much before other chambers thought of investing in young entrepreneurs indo us sme forum another concept of bilateral cooperation in trade indo us think tank and many more frankly i am unable to speak about him in the short span of time but sure to say the plethora of contribution he has made in various forums bring forth the value of customer today however he wants to dwell on the topic creating value for yourself keeping in mind our audience being mainly students he believes in an interactive session and therefore i would request all to hold heartedly participate in this talk series i would request to keep the audio unmute in case we could control the background noise and keep asking whenever you need to know participation that is the mantra that he believes in a few words about him gautam mahajan is an internationally acclaimed expert in value creation strategy general management and globalization he is the president of customer value foundation he is also the founder editor of journal of creating value jcv.sagepub.com he chairs the global conferences on creating value and mentors the creating value alliance creatingvalue.co his books are value dominant logic value imperative value creation creating customer value uh, creating customer value can make you a great executive total customer value management customer value investment featured international speaker clients include alcoa je ge ge capital state farm insurance wisconsin energies sun australia sealed air rexam renault tatas godrej itc birlas etc mr mahajan worked in us for 17 years with continental group then a fortune 50 company he ran businesses for them he is one of the inventors of pet petloid bottle and noise control kits he has 18 us patents mr mahajan is the past global president of the indo american chamber of commerce he was chairman plast india committee vice president all india plastics manufacture association Trusty Plastics Institute of America. He was a member of U.S. India Think Tank. Among his honor, 
is a fellowship from Harvard Business School and Illinois Institute of Technology. As I mentioned earlier, he also has 18 US patents. He was honored by Illinois Institute of Technology with its Distinguished Alumni Award. He delivered the first Distinguished Engineering Lecture at Illinois Institute of Technology, Chicago in May 2012. He has chaired and given keynotes in conferences in several countries. In October 2019, he had spoken in Japan. In December, Netherlands. February 2020, Denmark. March, Boston. April, Geneva. June, Paris. September, Poland all relating to creating value, which the Business Roundtable has coined as purpose of a company. May I now request Mr. Mahajan to kindly impart your learning, experience, wisdom, and enlighten our second talk show of the Enlight series of student chapter. Thank you, Mr. Mahajan, for consenting to give this talk. The floor is all yours. Well, first, uh, thank you, Mr. Nahas. And uh, uh, I can't thank uh, my old friend, uh, Wing Commander Ragashri Nair, who is a brilliant person, and you, you're very lucky to have her uh, helping you uh, in, in your endeavors. And uh, I have a, a very high regard for her. I, uh, I kind of, I'm, even though I'm using slides, I've more or less stopped using slides, but I'm using slides in this particular um, uh, talk. But uh, I just wanted to talk about value for a second. You know, everyone uses the word value. I'll create value for you. There's value for money. There's money for value. There's all kinds of things. But no one really knows what value means. Does anyone know what value means? Well, Hello. okay, that's a question we should ask later on, Mr. Nahas. What, what does value mean? The, the, uh, this particular talk is actually meant uh, or focused on people who are studying, people who are looking for employment, really focused mm -hmm. on towards people who are um, uh, below 30. And I see that there's a large number of uh, people in the audience who are over 30. So I'll try to make it a little bit more generic. Just that you know that value and, and the things that I'm talking about in creating value are not something that I've made up for you people. We have a, a creating value center in Denmark. We have a creating value center at the University of Maryland. We have a value school at the University of Kobe in Japan. And a new one is coming up at the Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. We have uh, creating value forums all over the world. We have uh, the creating value journal, which is now in its seventh year. And uh, we have uh, people like Phil Kotler, Jag Shade, uh, Christian Gronroos, Steve Vargo, uh, V. Kumar, who's the highest paid marketing professor in the world, uh, and, and uh, Pursu uh, on the board. So we have, and Yuji Koda from Japan. So we have a very well-known uh, board. And they're all involved with me <clears throat> because they all believe that the goal of a person is to create value. Unfortunately, in MBA schools, what we teach is that you should be a good administrator, you should be a good efficiency expert. We teach functional things. We never teach you how to create value. And people who succeed, for example, there's Emma Marshall uh, Singh here, who succeeded in his career, succeeded not because he just performed, but he be went beyond his performance and he created value and people noticed that he was creating value and that's why he moved up. But no one taught him or taught, will teach any of you how to create value. You will create value unconsciously, maybe because of your nature or because of the demands on you, but you'll create value unconsciously. 
And if you're doing this unconsciously, you could be destroying value unconsciously. And therefore, it's very important to understand what creating value is. And you will understand how important creating value is if you understand how important it is for you. And therefore, today's topic is creating value for you. Are you all with me? Okay. So, for example, yes. For example, why are you in college? You're in college, not because someone told you to go to college, but for yourself. What is college about? It's about you. And therefore, I, I want you to understand that everything is for you. And if you can't understand how to create value for yourself, there's no way you're going to create value for others. So let, let's keep moving. Oops, why am I not able to? Huh. Why am I not able to move the slides forward? Uh, you need to just click it. It is not moving forward. No, it's not moving forward. Uh, you, uh, I think you can go back to the share screen and then come back again. You want me to assist you? You can no, send. Can, to can you can you can you read this? No, nothing is coming on the screen as of now. Did you read this? Yeah, now, now it has come. So uh, second slide, uh, I, I think. Uh, OK, yeah, yes. I'm not going to put it on full screen because for some reason I'm not able to do it. But if this is okay for you, can if you can read it. So yeah. the difference between school and life. In school, you're taught a lesson and then given a test. In life, you're given a test that teaches you a lesson. So the idea of, of, of what we're trying to teach you or what we're trying to talk about is so that you will not have to go through this test in life and you already have learned things. And, and so uh, the thing that's really important for you is employability. The, the idea is to, oops, what happened? Okay, good. So at first, you have to get to a point where you can gain your initial employment. So your key skills must be there. You, you must get proper career advice and you must understand about the world of work. And then you need to maintain the employment and make transitions between jobs and roles within the same organization to meet new job requirements. I worked, as Rageshri said, uh, for 17 years in the US, and I had 13 different bosses. And I worked in areas from uh, systems to R&D, to engineering, to manufacturing, to marketing, to business development, technology, and I ran businesses. And every time I changed jobs, sometimes in less than a year, I had to understand what to do. So. The, the purpose of all of your studies is so that you become flexible, you become ambidextrous, you're able to do different things. So you also must have the ability to change your job and go from one organization to another. Lastly, when you look at employability, the quality of such work or employment is important to you. 
because you want to enjoy the work. You don't want to work in something that is lower than your skills or lower than what you deserve to be paid. And then you have the capacity and capability of gaining and maintaining productive work over the period of one's working life. Remember, many of you will work for 50 years or 60 years, and you, you will not be doing things at uh, 20 years from now that you can even imagine today. So the reason why you'll be able to do these different things is because you will be able to change your thought process and you'll be able to keep improving your skills to get uh, uh, the job done well. So who's the most important person for you? Is it your parents, your society, your family, you, or your boss? You can put this in the chat column and say who's the most important person for you. But I'm sure many of you will say parents, many of you will say your boss, but the most important person for you is you. And if you don't, if you're not the most important person for yourself, then uh, uh, no one else is going to be important. So you have to remember that you are the CEO of me incorporated. Correct? So let's keep moving. So over the period of time, you will be uh, discovering opportunities. You will have an opportunity to create value and you will deliver value. And it's when you start to deliver value that people come back and create value for you. So value, the maximum amount of value is created for you when you create value for others. You can create value for yourself by studying and doing things of that sort. But when you use and apply what you've learned for others and create value for them and deliver value to them, then and then alone is value created for you. And people say you are a person of value. So when you start to look at jobs, you have to look at the personality and, and the job fit. If you are an innovative person, putting you in a routine job where you are have to do just testing every day, day in and day out, every few minutes you're testing something, you will just become bored because you're not, uh, you have to follow the rules. And if, if you're innovative, you want to change the rules. So the, your personality and that testing job do not fit. It's also important that you should know what you value, what's important to you. And what do you value in a job? What's important in a job? And we discussed that a little earlier. And you also must understand what your boss and your company considers value. It's not what you consider as value that's important. It's what they consider as value that's important. So there are uh, three or four basic personality traits. The first is upholders, obligers, questioners, and rebels. Upholders are people who uphold the traditions and do things according to the law. Many people in the services are upholders. Obligers are people who oblige, uh, want to do things for people. Questioners are people who question everything. And rebels are people who just don't want to follow the rules. So uh, again, I would uh, suggest that in the chat box, put down what you are. And when you start to create value, you've got to ask yourself for whom. And as I said, it's not for you. You create value for yourself, but you really create value when you start creating value for others and, and you you have to create value for others from their point of view, and then they create value for you. And then you have to understand what you value and how you value what you value. So I've used this word value. I think this is the right time for me to give you the definition of value. Creating value is executing normal, conscious, inspired, and imaginative actions 
that increase the overall good and well-being and the worth of and for ideas, goods, services, people or institutions, including society and all stakeholders like employees, customers, partners, shareholders and society and value waiting to happen. So I'll talk about value waiting to happen in a, in a couple of minutes. Uh, but uh, uh, in the business sense, uh, value is the worth of goods, and we'll talk about that. And that's why our parents teach us to be good, good kids and to do good. But this will soon be overtaken by the goal of making a living and being successful. So what is value waiting to happen? When you look around you, there are so many things that are just waiting to happen. Sometimes you ask, why isn't this happening? Why can't someone do this? Or why can't someone invent this? So let me, let, let to, uh, and to create value for yourself, and you are value waiting to happen, you have to think about the six A's, and I'll talk about the six A's later on. But when you look, for example, at a driverless car, 10, 15, 20 years ago, none of us thought about a driverless car, but it was value waiting to happen. It was there, but we never even noticed it. We were not aware of it. And uh, it can create value for some people and destroy value for some people. It destroys value for the drivers, the professional drivers, and for uh, the tax system, but it might create value for uh, uh, for the owner because the car can be used much more. Uh, medical doctors are now using uh, lizard glue. You know, lizards can go up a wall and uh, what you'll notice is that it has an adhesive that allows them to go up and now these doctors are using these adhesives to, uh, to suture wounds, wounds uh, which are uh, cuts without putting stitches. Or porcupine quills. You, all of you know what a porcupine is. It has these quills and if the quill gets into your uh, body, when you pull it out, it's very difficult. And so they're using that uh, technology to, uh, to close wounds instead of stitching. The MIT scientists, for example, started looking at trees and they wondered, and all of you should wonder, how, how is the liquid and how are nutrients going from the root all the way up to a tree, uh, to a leaf 100 feet up? And, and so they started studying it and they'd invented a micro pump using this technique and therefore they have come up with something new. So all of these things are around us. So you have to start thinking about things that uh, are value waiting to happen. And when you do that, you will become innovative, you will become entrepreneurial. Lastly, you must have a purpose for yourself. What is your purpose? What's your purpose? Have you even thought about it? And if you haven't thought about it, then, uh, you know, you really have a problem because purpose can be an important contributor to employee experience, which in turn is linked to higher levels of employee engagement, stronger organizational commitment, and increased feelings of well being. People who find their individual purpose congruent or sim similar to their jobs tend to get more meaning from their roles, making them more productive and more likely to outperform their peers. And our research finds a positive correlation between purposefulness of employees and companies a bit So you must start to think about what is your purpose because it's good for you. It's good for you to be able to find what you really would enjoy in life. And if you think I'm asking you to look at your purpose, look at the purpose of a company. In uh, October of last year, <coughs> the business round table, which consists of the 300 top 
uh, American companies and their CEOs, that is Tim Cook of Apple or Satya Nadella of, uh, of Microsoft or Jeff Bezos of, uh, of uh, Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. They got together and they said that the purpose of a company was to create value for all stakeholders. And the stakeholders are employees, stakeholders are customers, stakeholders are partners, stakeholders are society, stakeholders are the environment, stakeholders are the shareholders. So they're saying that you have to create value for everyone. And they also are struggling with what is value because now they are starting to think differently because the old purpose of a company 30 years ago was to, uh, was to make profits. So do you understand that the purpose for a company is important, the purpose for you is important. And you've never thought about these things and now's the time to start thinking about them. Tata has business excellence models and I've kind of converted this into an employee uh, uh, excellence model. And so it's from employee point of view, delivery of ever improving value to employers, contributing to their marketplace success, improvement of overall organizational effectiveness and capabilities resulting in enhancing value to all other stakeholders, organizational and basic uh, personal learning. The Tata Business Excellent model is about customer value management. It talks about value. It talks about customer driven excellence. Satisfaction and value are distinct. I don't want to waste time but they're the underliner, underlying drivers of both uh, business excellence. And the values create value. So you'll hear people use the word values. Values are different from value. The plural of value is still value. Values are what you stand for, morals, fairness, ethics, honesty, integrity, etc. Value is what something is worth. Did you get what you paid for? So you, you go to buy a shirt and, and you look at it and you say, I'm paying so much. Uh, did I get what I paid for? Did I get more or less than what I paid for? If you got more than what you paid for, the benefits were greater than value was created for you. And all you always buy things that create the most amount of value for you, not the ones that have the lowest price. You understand that? Then I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can start to work for yourself on creating your own waterfall of needs, your own attribute trees. And I, you know, I just, want you to get a flavor for it and, and, and don't worry about these things. If you can't uh, uh, latch on to them, you can always do it if you're interested later on or get in touch with me. So if, if you were looking at joining an engineering college, the first question you would have is which college should I join? Should I go to IIT or NIT, NIIT or should I look at the rankings? Should I look at affordability? Should I look at location? There's all kinds of questions. Once you've answered that, then you have to start worrying about the courses that you want to take. You want state of the art courses. What are the features in that college? Is, uh, are these things easy to understand? Are they usable and practical? Will they give me employment? And then you look at the non-academic, the extracurricular, uh, and alumni uh, things, the facilities, the social uh, things that come in the college. Then you look at the placement. Do they have good reach and image? Where have people been placed in the past? Counseling, is it timely? Do you get multiple choices uh, uh, of employers and so and so forth? And then once you start working, you want to have a progress report that I learn the right things? Do I have a good alumni network? 
Do I have multiple options and uh, things of that sort? Do I add value? So why I'm mentioning all of this is because these are things that you will have to start looking at. So I'm, I'm going to show you this. Uh, uh, this is an attribute tree and it, value breaks up into benefits and financials. And what you'll notice is the financials are 30% and the benefits are 70%. The benefits would be 30% or, and the financials would be 70%. But the benefits are the growth and career, which might be 50%. Happiness might be 20%, 10% might be society, and 20% maybe image. You know, what is the image of the college? What will people think of me? Oh, this guy is some IIT or some IAM. And in the financials, you look at compensation, uh, you'll get, look at satisfaction, uh, and, and you look at things of that sort. So that's how you would look at it. And uh, this is what an employer will look at. He'll look at the value you bring. What are the benefits or the financials? He'll look at your performance. He'll look at your attitude. He'll look at some other things, look at image. And then he'll look at what is he paying you? Uh, what uh, are you getting some satisfaction uh, and things of that sort. So, uh, the employer is looking for value, you're looking for value. And if they can coincide, then everything is perfect. So for, for you to imbibe value in yourself, there has to be self-esteem, you have to build your self-esteem. You must believe in yourself. You must have awareness. You must have proactiveness. You must have growing confidence. And you must have mind and awareness. And you must imbibe in yourself the six A's. Ability. You must have ability. You must have awareness. You must be able to look around you and see problems. A person who's an engineer and a plant engineer can walk into a plant and if a pump is not working uh, and is making a noise, he, if he doesn't notice it, he's not going to fix it. The guy who notices it is the one who's going to fix it. And therefore, awareness is very important. Attitude is very important. Anticipation, agility, and ambidextrous. Ambidextrousness. I think someone is talking. Can you stop talking, please? Ambidextrousness is doing more than one thing at the same time. So these are things that you must start to do if you want to create value. Ability, awareness, attitude, anticipation, agility, and ambidextrousness. And then you have to ask yourself, what are value drivers? You must feel... Value must make you feel empowered. It must give you a performance-oriented culture. You must look at employer success. You must look at technological differentiation and social responsibility in the environment. And then you have to build a relationship. So if, what do your employers want? Exactly what your best friend wants, a relationship with you. You should be accessible. You should be responsive, you should be knowledgeable, you should be prompt, keep your promises, keep the person informed, follow up, have no surprises, do it right. And then you have to have the employer's DNA. Do not annoy, DNA is do not annoy the employer or his customer, and you must know what annoys them. Most value comes from doing normal things right from the point of view of employer or his customer. They are in your control and do not require any investment by the company. Now, I'm not going to waste time on uh, examples of value destroyers or uh, value creators, except that you must understand that uh, time, 
having respect for people's time, for their energy, uh, for the psychic needs. Psychic needs means that I go to a shop and the guy explains to me about the TVs and I explain to him exactly what I want and I say, I'll come back tomorrow and I, uh, I want to buy this TV and I go back and a new guy comes to me and I have to tell him all these things again. That, that impacts my psyche. So you also need to have respect for people. You must worry about the convenience and the image of people. You can't uh, destroy their image uh, and, and want to get away with it. And uh, I'm again, I'm going to skip this si slide, but uh, an example is a, a computer science student he has to learn different things. Uh, he, he learns after he, uh, in his first job that he'd never written a test in his life before, nor did he do anything to, uh, to do bug fixing. Or in the real world, he, uh, his code needed to be super readable and he'd never thought about it. And he never thought about working with teams and that is uh, software has to be looked at by different teams or he, uh, that the financials of a company, uh, he didn't even know where to get this information from. So he was asked to estimate uh, uh, all kinds of things. He doesn't know. So you have to learn a lot as you go into, into uh, the, uh, the real world. You've got to be an expert at PowerPoint and Excel and presenting your work verbally written, your body language should be good, your pace, your use of filler words, you must know your audience, and so on and so forth. So I'm coming to the close of what we, I want to do. And uh, the National Association of Colleges and Employers in the US have the 10 things that new uh, employees must know. So that is people like you. Ability to work in a team structure is number one. Ability to make decisions and solve problems is number two. They're two different things. Uh, ability to communicate verbally with people inside and outside an organization. Communication is number three. Ability to plan, organize, and prioritize work is number four. Ability to obtain and process information so how do you get information? How do you process it? Ability to analyze quantitative data. So data analysis, technical knowledge, which I called ability earlier related to the job, proficiency with computer software programs, ability to create and or edit written reports, ability to sell and influence others. So if you do not know what your value is, how do you sell your value or price it to an employer? The employer never hires a person. The employer hires the fulfillment of a need. He hires value. and That's what you have to give him. I'm going to end with two sets of slides. One, which is an Eastern proverb. He who knows and knows he knows is a wise man. Seek him. He who knows and knows not, he knows is asleep, wake him. He who knows not and knows, he knows not is a student, teach him. And finally shun the person who knows not and knows not, he knows not because he's a fool. So today, I hope you've learned that life and business are about creating value that you have to create value for yourself. You have to have a purpose. You have to understand what unemployability is all about. And as you start creating value for yourself, you will create value for others and people will think that you are a value creator. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. So the, uh, the question, Q&A section, 
can we go uh, lively or uh, in chat box questions you are taking any way you want to matra we have got about 20 minutes now left so as well we can go for uh, individual questioning okay, whatever sir. you like chetwan sir can i yes. can i start with a question sure 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 go ahead please sir uh, it was a very nice talk sir from your side uh, as a researcher uh, we are always searching for the truth because the, the topic is almost uh, connected to uh, most important like really you are breaking up i can't do you hello yeah can you i sir? missed the last sentence can you hear sir yeah please repeat, uh, please repeat uh, now how, how do you sir how do you connect personal branding and values value 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 and personal branding so actually if you create value you are actually creating your personal brand so i i did the um, the uh, strategy for the tuck school of business which is among the top 10 business schools in the world in the university of dartmouth in uh, in the us uh, and one of the things i found was that uh, when they were uh, recruiting students they'd get all these um, these resumes and uh, they'd see this really great resumes from iit guys and they'd throw them away and i said why are you throwing them away and they said if you read their essays they are all the same there was no personal branding there was no value being created they said we prefer to get and they did uh, take a, a guy who was a drummer you know played drums in calcutta and a ba degree rather than a brilliant uh, iit guy because he brought diversity he brought a different way of thinking so your personal branding uh, comes from the value that you can create Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, any other students would like to ask a question because we will give the preference to the students. Any of the MBA or engineering students of our chapters? Obviously, there is nothing. I have one question for uh, to Mr. Maharajan. You said you know changing job uh, to suit your value often is good. is it really good because the the employer will always look look at you when you change 20 or 25 jobs you are not a person to be depended on isn't it no that's not what i talked about at all i just said that uh, uh, if you want to change jobs you have to create value for the new employer and you have to look at the new employer differently i was not suggesting that you created value for yourself by changing jobs but you should have the ability to change jobs your uh, present employer should always feel that this guy is very employable i true agree but in india uh, barring maybe it or so other others if you frequently change your employability get reduced I, but i'm not suggesting any of that okay so, okay thank you yeah thank you any other question from anyone There was there any question in the chat box? Does anyone no, check nothing. the chat box? I don't see anything. In, any questions there? Really speaking, there is no question. Maybe the presentation was so clear. Yeah, that's the, that's the reason. That is the reason, very, probably. Yeah, it was yeah, very clear. Well. Yeah, it was very crystal clear. Anyone else, Ragashree? You have a question? Yeah, I do have a question. Uh, you did mention about six A's. i have heard about something uh, called uh, something similar called 3 c's their creativity competitiveness and continuity so how do we uh, create value uh, with the 6 a so so the 3 c's are a functional things in a sense uh, and if you do the 6 a's the 3 c's will come automatically because uh, you can't be creative if you're not aware if you don't notice things you can't create if you don't have ability you cannot create if you uh, don't anticipate you cannot create 
uh, if you cannot look at uh, different things at the same time, it becomes difficult to create. So all of these things that you do for creating value will help you do the creativity, make you more competitive, make you stand out, uh, help you brand yourself, and uh, things of that sort. Uh, KD sir will like, agree there are certain parameters uh, in armed forces when we uh, in the selection board. Uh, there are certain parameters which are mandatory like integrity and those aspects. Uh, KD sir, do you, do you have anything to ask in, uh, oh, uh, yeah. in relation to what we have spoken? Yeah. I will say, I have a question, yes. In the modern world today, uh, we, are, they are, we are facing a situation of future shock. Alvin Toffler's Future Shock, the book, that is the rate of change. For example, in the COVID scenario, the whole world had to readapt itself to the new way of working and interacting. So uh, my question is that uh, apart from creating a value for yourself to fit the job that you're doing and be of value to the employer, uh, the amount of uh, effort required by an individual to constantly relearn. That is the aspect which I'm looking at today as a person that uh, it wasn't that earlier at my age, I would have, I'm talking of the earlier days, you learned something, you became a master of the skill or the job, you could continue in the job for a long time. Today, you find that you are unskilled after some time because the skills have changed, the environment has changed. So my question to Shri Gautam Mahajan is, how does one cope up with this change, the rapid change in environment around us? So I, I, I said one of the ways that you'll have to uh, look at for creating value for yourself is to be looking at how to change and how to keep up with things. Otherwise, uh, you will not be ready for, for new challenges and new jobs. And, and the COVID is a classic example. There are some people who were able to change very fast and, were, uh, and took advantage of it, uh, like some of the people in, uh, in the internet space, uh, companies like Slack and uh, companies like Zoom uh, made a lot of money, whereas WebEx and all of that were uh, much slower Skype which had been a leader at one time was so much slower that they never really captured market share. Uh, so uh, it's the people who can react and the people who can really do things uh, differently. Now, again, uh, we, we uh, learned uh, in the talk that there are people who uh, are rebels. They don't want to uh, do anything or they just want to be against it, so they don't want to wear masks and they don't want to do social distancing. Uh, and there are the guys who are upholders who will, will do these things. So I think, I think uh, uh, as uh, things are changing rapidly, the skills, uh, skill sets are also changing rapidly. The way people are able to imbibe them are changing. So these are very important things for the future. I, I just wanted to tell you that I uh, used to give a lot of talks to the army management uh, 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 core, and uh, I gave a, a, a talk to 60 generals and NASIC ones uh, about creating value for, for yourself. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, it was a very interesting talk, and we also looked at creating value for suppliers we looked at creating value for uh, uh, how do you how why would jawan or people want to join the army versus uh, not joining the army uh, we looked at uh, india versus china uh, what is the value that uh, the chinese army has to create versus the value that the indian army has to create so what i'm trying to say is it's a very wide subject and today we've only touched on a little bit of the thing. Absolutely. But uh, I, I forgot to mention earlier, we're also starting a um, Creating Value Academy, which I think should be uh, 
uh, there by, by the end of next year. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on and people are doing this because they are starting to understand how all pervasive value creation is. So Mahatma, my name is Rankat Raman. I'm a friend of Mr. Sirith Madhavan. Uh, your focus has been on students in particular, but students or otherwise retired persons can always create value for society and community. Can you throw some ideas? Absolutely. I don't think, uh, I, that's what I said in the beginning that while I was going to focus on students, uh, this was also uh, important for the other people because the audience at that time uh, was uh, mostly older people. And uh, uh, I think, I think uh, people uh, just have to create value. There are people who, who, who try to create value for themselves in a bigger way when they retire. And, and so they, they look at enjoyment of life and they look at, uh, at how they can become more happy. There are other people who have retired who want to do something else. I mean, Jack Shade, who is just, uh, who's a famous professor in the US, he's now 80 years old, he's going strong. He's just started a college MBA school uh, in uh, Bombay. Phil Kotler, who's also on my board, is 90 years old. And he's been talking to me about starting a college for creating value uh, so that we can give masters in value creation. So I, I, I think, I think uh, people like that are creating value for others, but uh, there's no formula which says that creating value for yourself and not for others is, uh, uh, is bad. Uh, I see a question here uh, which says, uh, something about value education. I don't know what, I don't really know what value education means because this is one of those buzzwords that people use value like uh, value proposition and value uh, 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 this and value that. Uh, either you mean uh, value education the way I mean it, which is uh, teaching pe people how to create value and that's why the value school at University of Kobe in Japan, or you mean uh, values education, people who learn uh, that ethics and integrity and honesty are more important. And uh, we've learned uh, that, pe that people with values and creating uh, and having values, having integrity, having honesty, uh, they actually create more value than people without that. In the short run, some people may create more value by not being uh, honest or not being uh, uh, correct. But in the long run, people who are honest will always catch up. Any other questions? Can you take over now? Yeah, yeah. I, I, How are we doing for time, Ragashree? Have, have I got right. you on time? We have one hour, time. right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we are on time, bang on time. Uh, the way you are just in time concept, uh, I think you, you have introduced that, right? Much before it came in the market. If I'm, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was wonderful to have you. Uh, Though my association with you will continue, uh, whether offline or online, whichever way it is. Uh, I'm personally uh, grateful that you did consent uh, to come and speak to the students. Uh, mm -hmm. May I just uh, request uh, Mr. Jain to take over um, and uh, extend the vote of thanks, please? Can I, can I just make one comment, Ragashree? Uh, please. Uh, I have to thank you. Uh, because I want this message to get to people uh, uh, who are in this audience. And uh, I, uh, I'm more interested in getting this to the Indian audiences because most of our stuff is being done overseas. And, and it gives me great pleasure to do more in India. Lastly, I, I uh, would also like to... Uh, tell people that if they want to do something with value creation, 
in order to chat with me or talk to me, I'm always available and I always believe in it. So, um, uh, you know, thank you very much for letting me talk to an Indian audience. So, Jen? Mukesh, is Mr. Jain there? Hello, madam, madam, hello. Yeah, Nahas. Uh, can I make a... Yeah, you go on. You go on. So Nahas, go on. Can I have a doubt to uh, go the... Yeah. In academic way, uh, in US or anywhere else, a post-graduation in... Uh, value creation and do, do you have any ideas sir you talked about philip kotler and all any any master's degree in united states for this particular area in particular domain well there is a master's program that is being done Hello? in, uh, 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 in uh, drake university in uh, in uh, chicago uh, but uh, the drake university Which, sir? But that's more based on the value philosophy of the Soka Gakkai sect uh, from Japan. Okay. And, but the uh, value school in J uh, Japan right now is giving a one year certification and they might go to a two year MBA program. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, for, okay. For, for the information Thank you. Thank of you. all, uh, anybody who wants to get in touch with Mr. Mahajan, I have his uh, details and that will be extended to anyone who would want to get in touch with him uh, uh, further to this discussion that is taking place. And uh, may I then now request uh, Mr. Richard, uh, who is a student from St. Xavier's College, to kindly extend the vote of thanks. Jane, your uh, video is not on. I can see you. Uh, oh, me meaning to other dignitaries present today. On behalf of the Rwanda Management Association, I would like to thank Mr. Gaurav Mahajan. Thank you for sharing your ideas. Um, can you hear me now? Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, you're yes. audible. Hello? You're audible. Okay. You're audible. Um, sorry for the delays. <laughs> A uh, warm evening to all the dignitaries present today. On behalf of the Trivandrum Association, uh, and behalf of the, so thank you for sharing on value creation for oneself. It was truly an enlight enlightening one, actually. I would also like to thank Wing Commander Rajeshri Nair, Nair for all the guidance and support. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to thank Mr. Nahas and Mr. Sethu Madhavan for all their contribution in making this event a success. I would like to thank the whole evening, uh, Ashley and Ms. Jinu, for all they have done in making this event a success. And for the TMA team, they have been doing this again and again. They have been conducting successful events again and again. And uh, thank you for all the enormous cooperation from your side. Finally, to all the faculties and all the students for showing out in big numbers. Thank you and have a good week. Okay, Gautam sir. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, keep in touch with you, sir. Okay. Keep in touch with you. Anytime, anytime. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.
Thank you. 